it's back. So Jay Hill started this. This is a Weber State walk-on combine. And Jay Hill started this, and they didn't have it last year. I was pissed. Huge turnout. It's 100 degrees. So just remember, five, six guys, six guys playing professional football. Four of them local. So oh, nice. And all six of them, nobody won. All six of them got one scholarship offer, one, including Winston Reed, who was a walk on. Winston Reed, I'd watch him run right here. Local, Utah. Opetta, local, Utah. Adam Rodriguez playing UFL, local, Utah. Offered one scholarship. Rashid Shaheen, San Diego, offered one scholarship. Jonah Williams, we claim him local, he's Idaho. Only person, Teron Johnson, only person offered him a scholarship, Jay Hill, this program. So, as you know, he would probably be here today. I know he would be here today. I know he'd be here today. The great Stu Klauke was killed in a car accident yesterday. Uh, I didn't have this last year. They brought it back. We need local players. We want local players. We put seats in the stands. What's happening? Not much. Just coaching up all. Yeah, so you coaching now and playing. So I'm glad they brought it back, man. Yeah, I know. So I was just talking. So we got five <laughs> professional players. Yep. That got one offer in the country. That's crazy. Weber State. Weber State, yeah, exactly. Jay Hill started this. Oh, I know. Who recruited you, Jay or Mickey? Uh, Jay and uh, Coach Swan. Oh, Coach Swan, was he the man? He was the man. Oh, he makes so much money now, oh, he won't even talk to me now. Oh, yeah. He's a, oh, he's an elitist. He's, he's up there. Oh, shit. You know how much that guy gets a year? <laughs> More than Jay Hill, and I know what Jay's making. Jay's making a million a year. So... Winston Reed walk on. He's local, Utah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew he'd get a kind of you know, you know what the NFL's doing. You know what they're pulling. With, with them? With all the Weaver State players. Oh, yeah. With all the big they're, guys. They're amazing players. They, yeah, but they, they don't draft them. You know? So they can put them on the practice exactly. squad. Yeah. Rashid Shahid's making the league minimum. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know he'd be making if he, he got the two years. If he was bill. up, yeah, if he was a different yeah. Oh yeah. Oh if he he's a free agent this year. I'm gonna go down to that game because you know the new rule? Huh. It's right out of your playbook, man. The what? kickoff rule? I call it oh, the, the yeah, I, I call it the Rashid Shahid rule. Oh, that's gonna get him so many. Are you kidding? Can you imagine? They can't stop. They him can't with stop that him rule. even with the normal rules. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna. I want to go to that first game, watch him get the first one. Oh yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna get one. But they play. They play in L.A. this year. Okay. I'm gonna go to that game, the Chargers. Yeah, I, that's gonna be a good game. He owes me. <laughs> he owes me. <laughs> I promoted him harder than anyone that day. From day one, nobody gave him any love. Did you see Clowkey got killed? He does the play-by-play. -play. For, for basketball, right? And football. And football? He was doing football, too? Yeah. No way. He got killed. He got hit by a car yesterday and killed. No, are you serious? Yeah. That's terrible. There's, I can't believe that's that. That's what about it. I just didn't know. Yeah, he got hit by a car oh, that's on so 13th sad. South. That's unfortunate. He'd be here today, I guarantee. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. So, you gonna stick around, huh? Yeah. Oh, good. what about your guy, Jack? <laughs> he's doing great down there. <laughs> he's a Texas Tech, huh? No, he's a he's a BYU. No, that's Jack Kelly. I'm talking Jumping Jack, the kicker. Oh, Jumping Jack. Yeah, he's doing it. Burgess. Burgess. Yeah, he's doing great down there too. Do you coach him? You were the guy. <laughs> Not that much. Nope. <laughs> That, was, that dude's good. He's great. No, he's one of my good buddies. I didn't. I knew good. that. I knew you guys were friends. Yeah, great buddies. So, I don't know. You got a lot of talent, man. Yeah, we. Yeah, I'm about to. Where you at? You said what? No, I'm going to the. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take a screenshot. You know, I threw a fit about him not having this last year. Really? Because, you know, Jay started this. And, you know, Christian's my nephew. Yeah. That linebacker, he was the defensive player of the year out uh -huh. of Fremont. Okay. He signed here. 
Oh, he's on a Mormon mission. <laughs> I was gonna say, where's he at? <laughs> Mormon mission in Brazil, I think. Uh, he's doing, he said he gets up and lifts every morning. I said, you need to back off on that lift. He's only bench pressing about 450. Hey, oh, yeah. He's a, he's well, he's an animal. Oh, I was the gonna dude's say, an he's animal. He's going to be a Jack Kelly. Yeah, well, nobody would be Jack Kelly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've ever talked to Jack's dad right here. Oh, really? The spring thing. And I knew he was the BMX world champion. Oh, I did, yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's a story, man. No, yeah. He's, he's an all-around Athlete's athlete. an athlete, right? Yeah, athlete's an athlete. Well, I was excited to see this back. Hopefully, we get some more local players. Where'd you grow up? Idaho. Yeah, well, same thing. Same thing, yeah. So, we got a bunch of you guys. Yeah, we we're claim so you. Yeah, <laughs> good. Or, you don't claim us, but we claim <laughs> you. <laughs> You're Rupert, Gray. Or, no, not no. Rupert. You're Sugar City, right? No, not even Sugar City. But near Boise. Oh, Brilliant. you're way up. What's his name? The tight end's the Sugar yeah, City yeah, yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys are buddies because I always see you together. Yep. And then another one from a call. Called, well, uh, Jonah Williams. I'm, you know, actually, I grew up being best friends with his younger brother. So, really? Yeah, I knew Jonah before I even got here. You know what the biggest break Jonah Williams ever got was? Huh? Playing next to Adam Rodriguez. Oh, Adam. Was a, he was a dog. That's the best defensive player I ever I, saw. I don't, he's still in the UFL, UFL, right? Breaking every record. Every record. Was. I see all the posts. That all the shitty team he plays on, but... You know, he, get him in the league already. He had a, he played he was with the Rams for one year. Really? And he uh, says, you know, he could probably still be there on the, you know, practice squad or whatever, but he's like, I want to play. Oh, he plays. Oh, he plays a lot. I don't know what kind of money he makes, but he's probably mean, not terrible. I think it's like two hundred K or something. Oh god, that's horrible for you good. Uh, yeah. Well, I know you elitists, that's not much <laughs> money, but poor guys like me, that's a lot of dough, man. Well, I mean as far as like contracts, I know. you know what I mean. Rashid, like, of course, that's a crap ton of money. I'd take it any day. You know, Rashid, I'm friends with, you know, his uncle's his agent, but I know a lot of agents. You know, those guys are talking this year. If he, you know, we, that's what he thinks is. He's going to get 20, 30 million a year. I don't know why he's having on a contract like that already. Well, that knee, oh. he didn't get to go to the combine. I told him before the game I wouldn't play. Yeah. But what a story his is. It's crazy. We knew how good you and I knew how no, good he was. I was blocking for him. Come on, sick, right? So sick. Utah, the Utah game. I, I was part of his kickoff return there. And yeah, lightning struck the damn oh building. My. It was shutting up that stadium for at least a good 10, 15 minutes. Oh, that was the best feeling ever. So I always—that's when I changed his name to Lightning Rashid. Lightning Everybody Rashid. says, "Why are you call him Lightning?" Because I used to just call him, you know, "Don't kick to the rocket." I used to say, <laughs> yeah. but. I changed it, and everybody's like, oh, I says, he caused a lightning storm that struck the press box in the University of Utah. Whittingham shit down both legs. <laughs> <laughs> Whittingham, you know, because Jay Hill don't like Whittingham. You know that story? Yeah. Jay Hill was on that great team. You know, you know, I always say Jay Hill was the great DB coach. Huh. You know who used to have to go against in practice every day at the University of Utah? Who? Steve Smith. Really? Yeah. That's so did Andre Dyson. Oh yeah, I knew I knew Dyson. I didn't know I didn't know Coachella. Oh Jay Hill was I think Jay Hill was better than Dyson. Oh he was a great D B. That's crazy. And then he coached, you know, and he was always pissed that he didn't get his deal down there, but you know, I know Andre since he was a kid. Wow. That's crazy. He's awesome. He's a great coach. He is a great coach. Love him. Love him. In fact, Arky's the one that, or not Arky, excuse me. Steve Clowkey's the one that started calling this D B U. Really? He's won Teron Johnson. Yeah, you see the contract he got? Ter yeah. Oh. Biggest in the league. You kidding? He's the highest paid nickelback in the history in the of the NFL. Yeah. And nobody wanted him. No one wanted him. By the way, there. so you might have played against this guy. And remember, you know Bland that's breaking all those records for the Cowboys? He played for Sac State. The the running back? No, the, the DB that's got all the pick sixes. Oh, the DB. Remember the ones broke all those records yeah. for the pick sixes? yeah, yeah. He played for Sac State one year, and he had a pick up here at oh, Weber. I remember great. it. You probably played against him because that was just a couple probably. years ago. Yeah. I had to have. Yeah. But people, because he transferred. Mm -hmm. So, what, well, did you find anything good out there? Always. Oh, yeah. All those kids. I saw a bunch of kids working super hard just yeah, trying to impress. so many good players such, such in great this competition. state. Yeah. Well, good luck, man. I appreciate you. Hey, it's good to yeah, see you. Yeah, you too. Good seeing you, yep. man. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon, and I'll uh, make sure to come talk to you. Yeah, right on, man.
He's awesome, man. That dude can play. Do not kid yourself. Oh, can he play? So, so glad they're coming. I don't know if a lot of people know that Jerry West died today. And I'll do a whole nother piece on him. He is Mr. Riker. So, so lots. I, I think people are asleep. There's so many good players in this state right now. I'm telling you, high school football is king, and these players are king. Oh, if you don't believe me, look at what's his name for the Rams. He's local, or in high school. You know, so many of these local players. Find any secret gems out there? Not one. I spotted a couple, maybe. <laughs> I tell everybody, my claim to fame, I'm the first guy that spotted a sheet. Oh, wow. Let's see uh, six professional football players from Weber State in the league right now, and all six of them got one scholarship offer in the country. One. Weber State. You never know where they're going to end up. They're all no, you don't. A, if they just get a shot. Just get a shot. Give them a chance, man. Yeah. Yeah. We got a uh, we got a kid from Desert Hills that just uh, started had his uh, MLB debut pitching or something. Anyway, just had his first first game pitching. Twenty five years old. You said the Cubs, right? No, he's with. Uh, I'm not sure he's with. Did you see what's his name from Salt Lake's debut with the Cubs the other uh, night? Who was it? That closer. Uh uh He's Salt Lake kid. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah he struck out the side on ten pitches. Wow. He's a Salt Lake kid. Yeah. Born and raised, high school down there. There's, one to make it. There's a lot of good athletes in this state. There's, there's some great athletes. Big old D end in there wearing a green helmet. Logan was the top. Is he? Yeah, he's to help him back. He's big the way. His dad's big bro. Well, Winston Reed was a walk on here. He's with the Browns now. Yeah. He's a Salt Lake kid. Born and raised here. Jonah Williams, we claim him. He's Idaho. Yeah. But we claim him, and then, of course, Oh, Pat at Stanbury High School. He was here. We got the Sewell boys out of St. George. And yeah. Sewell, highest paid offensive lineman in the country. What a player. <laughs> yeah, people forget he's Utah. His brother, uh, Eat My Plays. Teron Johnson, the highest paid nickelback in the history of the NFL. Really? Weaver State. Really? Yeah. You're, you're a Weaver State boy. Well, I do the play-by-play -play here for the radio station for all these years. Oh, did you that? see... Uh, That's fun. Did you see that... Uh, Steve Pauke got killed yesterday. Oh, what happened? He got hit by a car. He does the play-by-play -play here for football That's and terrible. for basketball. That's terrible. It's really horrible. He'd be here right now. No. It's very sad. Jerry West died yesterday, too. I saw that. I still call him the Laker GOAT. You can talk Kobe all you want. <laughs> it's Jerry West, baby. I'm old school. He's OG. Jerry West is OG. <laughs> what a player. Yeah, Clocky was about the same age as Jerry West. No, excuse me, he was 69. Jerry West was 86, right? Yeah, 86. Well, I'm glad they brought this back. Jay Hill started this local combine. They didn't have it last year. This is our second year. The second year. must have been two years ago when we came Two years ago, yeah. That was fun. We had a good time. Well, Andre Dyson, he's local from here. He played in the NFL. He's the DB coach. Oh, that's awesome. In fact, it was... Uh, I only saw one head coach here that I knew. Myers? Oh, IU, the linebacker coach is here. You know, he's related to that freaking, that Orem superstar family. What's his name for the Rams that should have been rookie of the year? Luka? Oh. Uh, Luka? Nakua. Nakua. He's had a great year, didn't he? Oh, my God. Nakua had a great year out of Orem. These, these guys are related to him. The linebacker coach. In fact, his uh, nephew's playing here. They got talent. Yeah, it's all over. It is all over. It's just not enough opportunities for him. Kevin Blanche. Josh Borgeson. Nice, nice meeting you. you. Need more opportunities for these guys. Yeah. Well, there you have it. So it's back. Lots of talent in this state. Fantastic.